People who live in a Spring Valley mobile home park are cleaning up tonight after a rare wind event tore through their properties. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee is off tonight. It happened yesterday at the Terrace Estates on Sweetwater Road, leaving behind a huge mess. CBS 8's Shannon Handy shows us more of the damage and what one expert believes happened there. I've covered a lot of weather events throughout San Diego County, and I have to say this one is pretty unique. At least five mobile homes here were damaged, and they're all in one little pocket. Nothing else was touched. Neighbors tell me they've never seen anything like it. It was so intense. It was just real loud. Paula Yako was listening to the Padres game inside her Spring Valley home around 2 o'clock Wednesday when she heard what sounded like an airplane descending fast. And then I heard, like, metal, and I jumped up. And I ran out here and all I could see was his roof was gone. Not only was her neighbor's roof gone, but Paula's carport was in pieces. Some landed on her car, others went over her roof, landing on the other side. Del techo de la casa. Juanita Garcia, who lives one home down, had damage to her roof as well. Another home above hers is missing pieces from its side. Aquí. Ali Anciso says she thought it was a tornado, saying her entire home was shaking. Casa tronaba, tronaba la casa. Ali also says when she stepped outside, she felt a burst of hot air in her face, and it was difficult to stand because the wind was so strong. Fuerte, fuerte, fuerte el viento. In total, at least five homes were damaged. The event also knocked down plants and garbage cans and lifted debris hundreds of feet. This picture shows items flying in the sky. Some wound up across Sweetwater Road. Here's a shot of crews clearing it up. Today, we spotted some debris left over, even in one of the trees. So what caused all this? What an interesting day. Alex Tardy is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service. While some people thought it was a tornado or dust cloud, he says both can be ruled out based on conditions at the time. He believes what occurred is what's known as a breaking wave when the Santa Ana winds coming from the east collide with the sea breeze coming from the west. Imagine a figure skater on ice. You go up to her and you push her a little bit. She stops spinning, she falls down. So when you have other forces on the swirl, it messes it up. Based on the damage, Charlie estimates the burst was around 50 miles per hour. He says it's a rare event west of the mountains, but because it was so hot yesterday, that allowed air to rise, which is prime for this type of thing. He received a similar report around the same time out of Vista, where a home and car were also damaged. Rising air goes up and forces that air to go back down in the same general area. Fortunately, no one was hurt and the cleanup process is already well underway. I have insurance. <laughs> Shannon Handy, CBS 8.